is a parent's worst nightmare. And Mr. Dunn, your life is effectively over. The jury found that you senselessly and deliberately took a life and, and attempted to take three others. In the process, you ruined your life and detrimentally and permanently damaged the life of many others. What is sad is, and what is uh, something that we judges see, is that this case demonstrates and exemplifies that our society seems to have lost its way. It's moral compass, if you will, and what is right and what is wrong on many different levels. Our thoughts and discussions ought to be about how we should treat one another. It's not whether we can do something or act in a certain way or that we have a right in our minds to do it, but whether it's proper, sensible, prudent, necessary, and naked. We hear people talk uh, about and debate the right to stand your ground. And there's such a huge misunderstanding among, among the general public about that term. <clears throat> Self-defense, justifiable homicide, and excusable homicide are very complicated legal doctrines and laws. Laws that differ from state to state. And while that debate will continue, I'm sure, we should remember there's nothing wrong with retreating or de-escalating the situation. Mr. Dunn, this tragedy could have and should have been avoided. How you went from a joyous time of the wedding of your son and the time it took you to drive from Orange Park, Florida to the intersection of Bay Meadows and Southside Boulevard and kill someone is something people will never understand. Before I pronounce sentence, however, I do want to mention a couple of things Mr. Davis alluded to. It. The first is a positive, I guess, that we can take away from this horrible tragic event. And that is that our justice system works. Some criticize our system, but this case demonstrates that our justice system does work. And while it may not be perfect, as nothing is, it is the greatest and most fair system in the world. And while this was demonstrated in this case in our community and beyond, let it be known that our system works like this every week, every month, throughout every year here in Jacksonville. It's not just with this case, it's with many, many cases that are not reported on or covered as this one was. Additionally, to demonstrate how our system works, our citizens, you, your friends, your neighbors, while initially not always anxious, uh, thrilled or anxious to come down and serve as a juror, once here, those folks understand jury service is their civic duty and they take that duty seriously and embrace it. They embrace the opportunity to be not just a part of our justice system, but the backbone of our justice system. Both juries in this case made up of different genders, ages, races, and ethnic backgrounds came together and spoke with one voice. As Mr. Davis suggested and alluded to, they did not allow race to become a factor. So I want to thank those jurors, some of which are here again today, for their service in this case, and to all the other citizens of Jacksonville who come down each and every week to serve as jurors on cases here in Jacksonville. Mr. Dunn, you please stand. Your Honor, if please the court, I'd like to approach and make an oral motion about it. No, sir, you may not. It's an oral motion. That's the law. He's violating the law, right now. first degree felony punishable by a maximum of 30 years in the county.
Seattle State Prison and carrying a 20-year minimum mandatory sentence. And you haven't been found guilty by the same jury of count five, shooting into an occupied vehicle, a second-degree felony punishable by a maximum of 15 years. I hereby adjudicate you guilty of each of those four offenses. As to count two, the attempted second-degree murder of Tevin Thompson, I hereby sentence you to serve 30 years in the Florida State Prison with a 20-year man minimum mandatory sentence. As to count three, attempted second-degree murder of Leland Brunson, I hereby sentence you to serve 30 years in the Florida State Prison with a 20-year minimum mandatory sentence. This sentence will run consecutively to the sentence imposed in count two. As to count four, attempted second-degree murder of temp, uh, Tommy Storms, I hereby sentence you to serve 30 years in the Florida State Prison with a 20-year minimum mandatory sentence. This sentence will run consecutively with the sentences imposed in counts two and three. As to count five, shooting into an occupied vehicle, I hereby sentence you to serve a term of 15 years in the Florida State Prison. This sentence will run concurrently with the sentence imposed in count four. Mr. Dunn, you have been found guilty by a jury of your peers on October 1st, 2014 of premeditated murder in the first degree of Jordan Davis, which carries a minimum mandatory life sentence without parole. I hereby sentence you to serve that minimum mandatory life sentence without the eligibility for parole. This sentence will run consecutively to the sentences imposed in counts 2, 3, 4, and 5. I will impose the applicable court cost of $616 the $150 uh, Regional Conflict Council lien. Uh, I will reserve jurisdiction regarding the state's request for reimbursement.